It is showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony Pettis is back tonight, the former UFC lightweight champion. And not to say that he has reinvented himself of late, but he's gotten back to what got him to the dance, right? Focusing on the striking, not focusing as much on defensive wrestling and training. And the results have been really... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the front runner for the fighter of the year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that... He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, nice slam as he gets him to the canvas. Exactly what he needed. He drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our legs can be what controls your feet. Right. We're not using our hands. I'm not using my hands. I'm using my legs to just kind of wheel and deal you from side to side. Then my upper body is free to punch. If you get your feet on my hips, you're out. Right. You may as well just kick away. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Another big down. Under three minutes to go in round one. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the... Now he's masked... Oh! He's over the top, but a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did I read my last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Posture's up now, and lands the vicious head strike. Back to his feet. Great job blocking that shot. Oh, that right hand barely missed him. Beautiful straight right hand there from Anthony Showtime Pettis. Maybe we'll see another Superman hook later tonight, DC. Of course, he executed that move to perfection not all that long ago against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Closes the game. Oh, now goes the two oh, Hands up inside control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pound or he can chase the mission. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Well, Pettis' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Final seconds here in round one. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Quick jab lands there. He's going to get team. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Back to his feet. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. That leg hook was nasty. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Try to establish that jab. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. Oh! They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Elbow from the top now by Pettis. Oh, looking for the kill lock now. Might have the guillotine. 
Oh, that killing is tight. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Roll to your back. To give up the ball. Right there. And live to fight right another day. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Just missed with the left there. Oh, what a hit kick there is a man. That'll do it! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, LT Ray. All right, so 